I am the least qualified person to speak about discrimination. I've never sat down in a restaurant and been told to leave because of the color of my skin. I have never been told to stop loving the person I love because of religious views. I have never experienced discrimination of any kind myself. We have all once been the subject of doubt. Remember back to elementary school when the teacher sat you around in a big circle and you had to tell her what you wanted to be when you grew up? Some kids wanted to be businessmen, others wanted to be doctors, some wanted to be teachers, and some wanted to be astronauts. Above all, we all wanted to be something big. We all wanted to lead a successful life. We all wanted to change the world, and some of us still do today. But as life moves on and the clock ticks on, we get hit with what is termed this reality. People tell us we can't do anything. People tell us that we cannot be the astronauts, the doctors, the teachers, and the humanitarians that we want to be. Then doubt creeps in and absorbs you, and in the process you lose your ability to dream. Martin Luther King Jr. taught us to believe. How many times do you think they told him to forget what he was doing? Told him that he couldn't fight the tough fight. That he should quit his dream. I have a dream. My poor little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. He taught us to never forget our dreams. Martin Luther King Jr. taught us that race is no judge of a person's character or their spirit. Life will be hard every single day. It tests who you are and who you want to become. Someday we will all experience loss, regret, and tragedy. And you will think to yourself, why me? Why? Out of all of the 7 billion people in the world, why me? Because we are all ordinary people. In the famous words of Jim Valvano, Hampton said, the Lord must have loved ordinary people because he made so many of us. And here I am, 16, thinking I'm special. Here's a man I respect, said, the Lord must have loved ordinary people. He made so many of us ordinary. And I was a little, you know, you get a little down at 16 when someone's telling you that. And then he said the line that changed my life at 16 that I felt then. I'm 41 years old. I've been working 21 years in my business, and I feel it the same way today. He said, every single day, in every walk of life, ordinary people do extraordinary things. Ordinary people accomplish extraordinary things. People like us risk themselves. Every piece of muscle, every piece of soul. And every piece of themselves that they can squander up, they take that and they put it toward the dream. And if they face failure, they don't dwell on it. They don't become a victim, they try again. Do not let anyone tell you to stop. Do not let anybody tell you to cease. Do not let anybody tell you to give up believing. Not only in your dreams, but in yourself. Martin Luther King Jr. believed in himself, and he believed that what he was doing was right. But he had a dream to make the world a better place for all of us. No matter what race, no matter what religion, and no matter what I think or what I am telling you to do today. If you believe, if you can dream it, if you can put two thoughts together, you can change the world. I leave with you two words today, and those words are never stop, never stop believing, never stop dreaming. And never stop wanting to be that doctor or astronaut. Never stop feeling unsatisfied or wanting to do more. Never stop being yourself because in the end we all have a dream. Now it's up to us to make those a reality. Conquer your dreams.